right, so this is a walkthrough hands-on with a really unfocused camera of Android 4.0.1 ice cream sandwich code word on the Samsung Fascinate. Um, this is an audio recording recorded later because the audio that recorded with it was horrible. Uh, you just shot this all on my Camio tablet. Um, and you can see we got the lock screen working here. Uh, basically, just let this video run. Uh, I'll record a little bit of audio if you know where you need it. Uh, it bugs me that you can't unlock. You can only unlock by going to that, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Wi-Fi doesn't work right now for me. Uh, it turns on, so it's turning Wi-Fi on, but it won't actually connect to anything. Uh, I've tried, and it just it w it won't. It'll turn on. Occasionally, it'll pull up your network, try to connect, enter the password, and then it just fails. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Here we can see the brightness actually does work. Just turn it down and up and it works, which is good because it didn't work before. So <coughs> that's always an answer for me. Uh, if I look at the status, this is just a uh, Google Sync does work except for the calendar. Uh, sad. GPS does work. It's a pretty decent lock. Now that it's fixed, it'll work. Uh, I have GPU acceleration forced turned on or GPU rendering forced on, which works, I guess. Uh, about phone it shows up. I got Android 4.0.1. Baseband is EH03. I don't know what anybody's EQ is for gingerbread. Uh, 2.6 MP, 5.14 MHz of AP, which is something that was made on November 18th. Uh, here you can see signal strength doesn't work. Uh, doesn't fluctuate at all uh, unless the signal bars don't show anything but uh, it does have 3G so 3G does work it's terrific uh, the market does work for downloading apps and installing apps uh, I think I actually pulled the music app here yeah Google Music works syncs plays uh, it's really cool Google Music is awesome uh, got a lot of got the free song that syncs between your phone tablet and your computer like every time within 30 seconds which is really cool and it does work That's one thing I do notice about uh, Honey or Ice Cream Sandwich versus the Honey Sandwich versus any other version of Android is uh, the transitions and the flow between everything, uh, the swiping to get between the tabs uh, instead of hitting the tabs is very cool. It's very uh, very smooth. I like it. It's very polished. It works very well. Um, it makes a very uniform feel to the whole thing. Uh, so instead of doing the tabs, you can swipe. And when you swipe down on the favorites, it switches from the favorites menu people to the rest of your thumbtack. And uh, this video doesn't quite do it justice, but it's really quick. It is really quick. There's not hardly any delay. I just realized I forgot to zoom in. Phone call works. Um, but you can't really hear it in the <laughs> except from the video. The speakerphone just it's just crazy cranks. It's just total ear rape. Uh, so I hang it up very quickly because that as you saw it was almost to the bottom, but it was still I could understand every sh word she said uh, on the Verizon helpline without the speakerphone on. It was it was really 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 loud. So I can cut it up if you don't want to know. Uh, one thing I love about Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, especially with the stock launch right now, is scrollable widgets. Uh, the bookmark widgets that I brought from Honeycomb and the Gmail widget that I brought from Honeycomb. Because uh, not only are they scrollable, but they're resizable. And it even has folder support on the bookmark widget, which is awesome. Very cool. Uh, you don't have notification pull downs that I like from something like Mod 7, but you have it on your widget. And if I do Mod 9, you'll be out getting notes. So. I also like the new interface for making folders. Uh, yes, I kind of stole it from iOS, but it you know it makes sense. It's very fluid. Uh, you can see when you hover over it, it makes a little circle, and then you can 
with his animations and everything. The little fades and everything. It's it, it it's just very polished and very very impressed with how they made everything. Uh, like here you switch when you swipe between apps, you just scroll between each widget. And you can turn on the thunder like there, just some fun music. Uh, this is from the cloud, you see. So like here when you're adding a widget, um, the desktop it has a shadow, it leaves a shadow where it's going to be laid, and like there's no room there, there's no room there, there's no shadow, it's kind of like you can kind of use widgets, and then when you pull back out to when there is room, uh, you use a shadow and you can just drop it there, you go over here, you use a shadow, and it gives you actually, there's actually a live preview uh, when you have content, it shows a live preview of what's going to drop there, which is awesome. up and then Google Plus force close which actually happens quite a lot and so when you pull icon out it's the same thing it's got the shadow uh, you can drag it up it just it's the same like I said you can drag it up to app info or to uninstall like on uh, any number of custom launchers uh, which I like very much it's very intuitive it kind of has a holographic UI from Honeycomb this is a system app so it won't let you uninstall which is interesting uh, you can drag it over straight out of the launcher to the dock or to any of the folders to create a new folder to it. Which, if your user does work, if you uh, flash the binding mode yourself, which you can download from ROM Manager, you can clear notifications, you can pull up the settings from anywhere, uh, which is very cool. Uh, very slick. Uh, hard press the power button and it pulls up airplane, sound load, power off, that's it. No reboot options, but there is the reboot widget in the market that I use. which is the only real bug in this ROM that I can complain about. I haven't had any uh, issues with trying Bluetooth, uh, or connecting Bluetooth devices successfully. Uh, one thing to note, the stock launcher does not rotate. It doesn't map as you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's no swift key keyboard. Stock key. I don't hate the stock keyboard, I'm just addicted to swift key. But stock launcher won't rotate. Uh, it did in version one, I don't know if that's a big deal for anybody. Uh, here's a quick preview of the browser. One of the cool things I like that they took from Honeycomb when they have an ice cream sandwich is the animation for rotating. Uh, when you rotate the device, uh, it does the little flip animations, which, you know, it's just a nice little subtle touch, but it's something that uh, Motorola has now, and I think a lot of people have been playing with themselves in recent, recent builds. Uh, it's just nice to have it back. Uh, it gives it a little more polish, makes you think of, uh, say, iOS. You know, just everything's so fluid. It feels more polished, like it should be, like a you know, like a perfect world OS. Uh, I love the labs. Uh, my favorite things are quick controls and full screen. They make it feel a little bit bigger. This is from the Honeycomb, my Honeycomb tablet. Uh, for some reason, quick controls did not work for me. I don't know what's going on there, but not that big a deal. Uh, regular browser stuff works. favorite new features from Ice Cream Sandwich is the uh, the lock screen got changed a little bit where you can now uh, drag down notifications from the lock screen without unlocking. It's one of my favorite features of uh, Widget Locker. So here you can see Abduction 2 is downloading. I pull that down without unlocking and I can click it from without locking. So I hit the page. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's very handy. It just, you know, just makes it just one step less to get any notification. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, you can also see some changes. We have the uh, X for clear notifications up there. I don't know if that installed. Takes a little bit. Sorry. You can have redone installing. You can see here. Some information on home screen. Home screen was really fixed in this. I'm uh, very impressed with the stock launcher. In fact, I'll even keep the stock messaging system too. It's not horribly ugly. I've compared the version and the current <laughs> thing since like 2020. Uh, I didn't get a video in the last one of the recent apps catalog or carousel uh, that they brought from Honeycomb. Uh, just
was showing how intuitive the interface has changed from uh, two even 2.2 and 2.3 and brought a lot of neat fun stuff where you notice there's a lot of swiping and moving um, you know swipe to change keys um, I didn't show killing apps um, his swiping up and down on the carousel uh, but swiping left and right uh, swiping left I'm sorry but it was dragging that to the left um, kills the task which is pretty handy um, I mean, more handy if test, test Manager reminds you very much of a of a kind of rotated 90 degrees um, uh, palm, you know, the WebOS switcher, which is very cool. I love that interface. Uh, here I'm just showing you, you know, the different interfaces, how, you know, everything swipes up and down, left and right, very smooth uh, between all the apps. Messaging does consistently work both in and out. You can piece it kind of tell from my conversations <laughs> for the last three hours. So that's that's a you know a good thing. There's a new Gmail app which has also uh, been redevi redesigned uh, even more so from Honeycomb. Uh, pretty slick, lots of little intelligent uh, changes. Very clean interface. Makes good use of the screen real estate. There's a it's redesigned like Honeycomb for no capacitor buttons or any, you know, any uh, uh, physical hardware buttons. Um, so when you when you use it, everything's all the options are on the screen for the base apps, you know, for like uh, the phone app and the voice app. Er everything has been redesigned uh, to support you know phones that don't have physical hardware buttons. Even though you know the Galaxy Nexus does have capacitor buttons on the screen when it needs them. So it's just cool to see how things have been redesigned. Uh, I'm interested to see how the uh, how the phone looks. I've, I've I've already seen some where that the buttons don't always need to be there, which is interesting because it means you know you get more real estate. Uh, you know, I'm just showing switching apps and how quick it is. It really is not. Uh, this you know this is just a app note, the second alpha build of this OS, and it's already it's so smooth. It's it's really impressive how well it runs switching between apps and stuff. I never felt. There's a slight lag, but it's nothing, nothing crazy. And like I said, you know, it's close to 2,100 in the quadrant, which is, you know, great. You know, I just tested uh, the stock gingerbread Greek, the highest post of dialing was you know 1,500, so it's still terrifically fast. Love it. Uh, here's a uh, placing and resizing widgets on the desktop, uh, which is awesome, especially handy for like the bookmark and the Gmail widgets, where they're scrollable. It's usually a lot of content, which is make it full. Make it to full screen, and you know you can click between that, moving that phone. This is the only time I ever had this one on the screen. It's pretty sad story. It wouldn't let me hit home while trying to open a browser and try to open it back. Uh, I kind of messed up a little bit here, but other than that, it's been perfectly smooth. Google Plus is the only thing that has kind of sort of consistently four stars. Um, you can see here it highlights the Google Plus bar, the Omni bar up there, and it kind of looks like it's going to pull up a new interface, and then it, it doesn't. You know, it doesn't do anything. Because now if you hit the Omnibar, it brings up the old, ugly Google search app, which isn't bad. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. But Anyway, um, that's pretty much the whole build right now. Uh, it's running great. If you want to get a uh, look at it yourself, you can go ahead and download it from rootswiki.com, uh, Great Tease thread, and then from the Fastlink forums. Uh, this is one of the more active and uh, well-supported ROMs that's running. This is the best running ice cream sandwich ROM, I can say, that uh, if you look around it seen so major props to the devs uh, we'll uh, keep you posted we'll be really out